you're watching Call is Calling News and Catherine Brachner with you today and we will talk about bananas. Organic and healthy, it's an nowadays trend, but in which way blockchain could be useful in this area? Well, ask about it our guest, meet Alexander Bichkov, CEO of Banana Coin Project. Meet Alexander Bichkov, a serial entrepreneur and expert in economics and marketing, blockchain enthusiast. Already at the age of 19, Alexander graduated from the Moscow State Open University with a degree in world economic relations. Bichkov took a great interest in extreme sports, and in 2000, his hobby turned into a business. Alexander became the founder of the company of Freestyle.dist, the distributor of well-known brands of skateboard, equipment and clothing. The company the company has been successfully developing in the present time. Almost 15 years later, Bichkov discovered another field of activity. In early 2017, together with Oleg Dubrovalsky, he founded a banana kind project to produce ecologically clean bananas on a plantation in Laos. Hello, Alexander. Nice to meet you in the Colis Connie studio. Hello. Yeah. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Uh, all good. We are in Thai now, meeting like several investors. So right now, I have opportunity to speak with uh, with your uh, subscribers. So yeah, hello everyone. <laughs> That's great. So uh, how did the idea to associate the cryptocurrencies with banana farming appear? Uh, actually, like the idea came from uh, normal crowdfunding. We tried to make a small crowdfunding to make a marketing initiative. Uh, we want to make a small um, machine which produce fiber from banana plant and make like ecological uh, clothing, ecological packaging. So after we like start to search how to uh, how to make that thing easily, like uh, we uh, find out there is like ICO thing. And we started to speak with some like blockchain uh, guys and they, and they told us, hey, why you make so a small crowdfunding to make like, you know, uh, so you should do like ICO for whole project to expand your project. So this is why, why actually like the idea came from. So we've been looking to expand our land. So this was actually how everything started. Tell us more detail, please. What's the investment offering consists of proposed by your project? Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So actually, like our project is very simple to understand. Like, there is not nothing like high IT technology or something like that. Uh, our token is so we actually we tokenize plantation. So, our uh, one uh, token is connected to one kilo of our organic banana. So, actually, the owner of a token uh, who buy it like for 50 cents can get one kilo of our organic banana or can ask us to sell them at the export price. But if you go uh, and check the price of our bananas, it's up to 3.5 USD dollar. So potential to grow of our token is up to seven times. So this is like actual like business model of our token. The next question is about banana coin token nature. Is it means of exchange and equivalent to securities or a call option for a product produced in the future? Token is like, it's more closer to the future production of uh, products. So as our um, consulting agency says, and uh, uh, what our token is utility token, because it's only for, for one token, you can get uh, one kilo of our bananas. So it is like utility token. It is possible to use banana coin token beyond your project? Uh, no, right now it's not possible to use it uh, with our, our project because uh, right now uh, we are the first stage. So right now we, we expanding our own production of bananas in Laos and making and help people to raise money with our help. So after we succeed in that project, we will uh, go to the second step when uh, we will be producing like ecosystems to help uh, different projects around the world to grow organic plantation as we do right now. But in the future? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. In the future, we will try to build like ecosystem which will help uh, different projects around the world to expand their land and uh, our token will become some kind of proof of quality for the organic uh, products. This is like our idea for the future. Why did you choose exactly Ethereum as the basis for the token? We choose Ethereum uh, blockchain because it, uh, like, in my opinion, it's uh, one of the best way 
uh, to make like uh, tokenized crowdfunding. I mean, it's easy scale. It's easy to and very safe to produce like smart contract, and people can uh, track all the records and get tokens. Uh, so it's very like safe way to make tokenized crowdfunding. But it is simply to hacking. Yes, it is for hackers, of course. But uh, uh, we have a very strong IT team who is always looking for all the changes in like hackers and stuff like DDoS attacks for our service and stuff like that. They're always online, always checking if any problem. So we are very confident in our smart contract and in other in our development team. Sounds great. Would you like to add something about your team? One part of the team is a team who actually produce bananas. It's situated in Laos. They spending time on the plantation and growing bananas. So there are around 14 uh, people who work at plantation. And the uh, other part of the team is a developing team who is doing like smart contract, who is doing like web marketing, like uh, offline marketing and stuff like that. Tell us about the development of the project in the future. What are your plans after the ICO? Okay, so as you can check at our uh, website, at the business plan part, like all the money co uh, collected during the ICO round, we will be used to spend our land. So on the collected funds, we will lend the, uh, rent the land, then clear the land, then uh, put the irrigation system, plant the seedlings, then get the products, actual fruits, bananas, and sell them to the uh, China. So actually, after that, we'll be able to buy out all the tokens and make our project successful as ICO. Thank you, Alexander, for this time. It was great interview. We wish you happy holidays and success on your project. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, see you. It was CEO of Banana Coins project, Alexander Bichkov and Kolisko News Studio. Happy holidays to everyone and see you.